Welcome to Gospel Greetings, Practical Encouragement for Living Out Your Faith in the Marketplace. This week, we continue our series on signs of the times. You'll remember that last week we did hedonism from 2 Timothy 3, but know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying its power, and from such people turn away. Paul is warning Timothy of approaching issues which would manifest when he was gone, and they point to current dangers for us as the end times approach. So while Paul warns, bless God, he also gave clear plans to protect against all the vices listed. This week, we continue with a great day from Zephaniah 1.14. The great day of the Lord is near, near and coming quickly. As we discuss the signs of the time, some people feel concerned about the state of the world around us. So many troubling things but Jesus is coming again. Reminding each other of Jesus coming can draw us nearer to God in a world that is seemingly on the brink of chaos with political turmoil, economic uncertainty, and ideological divides. The signs of the times point us towards the end, and that can be disconcerting. But the greatest truth about Christ's coming isn't the timing or issues, but it's, it's reality. For blessed are all who long for his appearing. It will be like Jackie Stewart used to stay of auto racing at Mosport. It's a great, great day. And sure, auto racing is exciting. But why is Jesus coming so great? Dr. David Jeremiah, in one of his recent messages, gave five reasons. Number one, a great day of hope. The Bible regularly uses the word hope to describe how we should feel about Jesus' return. Peter calls it a living hope, then says we can rest fully on that hope as we await Jesus' return in these distressing times. Two, a great day of homecoming. When Jesus comes, we will be reunited with all family members, friends, and those who have come before us. We will also be at home with our Lord, like a family Christmas dinner. Three, a great day of healing. When Jesus comes, that will be the greatest healing service you've ever seen. All of our infirmities, weaknesses, wrinkles, raised imperishable. Suddenly, in the twinkling of an eye, we are made totally new. For a great day of happiness. Imagine how elated the resurrected saints will be. The angels and God himself to see his family come home in paradise forever. 1 Thessalonians 4 says, hey, encourage each other with these words. And number five, a great day of holiness. On that day we, day, we will be made holy in the image of Christ. No sin, no fear, no unbelief. This is the last spiritual stage for us called glorification. We see him and we will be gloriously like him. So in the middle of this hedonistic, troubling world, Dr. Jeremiah reminds us that we can look forward with joy to the second coming of our Lord Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Father, during these troubling days, forgive us for being prone to fear. Thank you for showing us that we can joyfully expect the great day of Jesus coming. In Jesus' name, amen.